about today. Wait, what? <laughs> gardens! Oh, pretty flowers, Abby. Boy, Elmo loves gardens and wants to find out more. Thanks, Elmo. Oh, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, Smarty! Hey, Elmo. Look it, look it, look it. Check out my screen. Oh, pretty. It's full of flowers and plants, just like a garden is. Hey, that's perfect, Smarty, because today Elmo wants to learn all about gardens. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We look it up. Okay, searching for gardens. Here's all the dirt. Gardens are places where people grow plants. Some gardens have flowers. Some gardens have fruits and vegetables for people to eat. Gardens provide homes for all kinds of animals and insects. There are bees and butterflies. There are lots of animals and insects that live underneath gardens too, like earthworms, not to mention field mice, and our friend the garden snake. Isn't he handsome? Best of all, gardens not only look good, they smell amazing, too! Wow! A garden looks like a lot of fun! Yeah! They really grow on you! Get it? Grow on you? <laughs> I'm gonna see what other gardening stuff I can dig up. Bye-bye! Okay, bye-bye, Smarty. Thank you! Boy, gardens are amazing places! Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> let's see. A flower, a bee, and a penguin. Which one goes in the garden? Should we put the flower in the garden? Yes. yes. Flowers grow in gardens. Yeah! Yay! We got one right. Oh, let's try another one. Which one goes in the garden? A bee or a penguin? The, the bee. bee. Penguins don't live in gardens. Bees grow in gardens. But penguins don't. See you later, penguin. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow! There's lots of things in a garden. And that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle know how to garden? Hey, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, do you know how to garden? You do? Oh, show us, Mr. Noodle. Show us how to garden. Wait a minute, is that not a garden? No, no that's skiing. Elmo will give you a hint, okay? Gardening has something to do with plants. That's not how you garden, Mr. Noodle. Try again. Oh, good job, Mr. Noodle. Now that's how you garden. He's planting the plants. Don't forget to water them, Mr. Noodle. Too small. Try a bigger one. There you go. That's what Elmo's talking about. He's doing it. Mr. Noodle is gardening. Good job, Mr. Noodle. Thanks for showing Elmo how to garden. Bye, Bye Mr. Noodle. Noodle. <laughs> Learning new things makes Elmo so happy that makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance. Yeah.
busy as a bee today. Ha ha ha! That's perfect, Smarty, because today Elmo wants to learn more about bees. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. up. <laughs> Let's see what's the buzz on bees. Bees are insects, which means they have six legs and two antennae. They also have four wings, which move so fast they make a buzzing sound. Bees collect pollen from flowers, then spread it around, which helps them grow. And bees make honey, one of the sweetest foods there is. Bees do so much. They're unbelievable. <laughs> Elmo never knew that bees did all her that. Thank you, Smarty. No problem. And if you need me again, just give me a buzz. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, buzz. Boy, Elmo loves learning about bees. <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> Looks exactly the same as it. Is this one the same? It looks kind of the same. Bees have one, two, three, four wings. That one doesn't have wings. So what about this one? Is it exactly the same as this bee? How many wings does it have? One, one two, two, three, four. It has four wings. Oh, and how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it exactly the same as this bee? One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six legs. legs. There's our match. Yay, we did it. Great job. like a bumblebee. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, what do bees do? Bees don't ride scooters. Mr. Noodle. No, what do bees do? Oh, Elmo will give you a hint. Bees make something you eat. A cake. He's making a cake. No, bees don't make cakes, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> No, but they do make something else that's sweet. Sweet and sticky. Yeah, bees make honey. Yeah, honey! There you go, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, it's oh too boy. much. It's too much. That's too much honey, Mr. Noodle. Wipe it off. Uh oh. Oh, no, you're stuck. Uh -oh. The honey is sticky, Mr. Noodle. You're making a mess, Mr. Noodle. Oh, Mr. Noodle. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy that makes him want to dance. Come on! Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Keep learning. Elmo loves you. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do Wow, 
cloud, because wind can move clouds. <laughs> well, that's perfect, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn more about clouds today. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We look it up, searching for clouds. Here we go. Clouds are made up of lots of tiny drops of water that float in the air. When clouds look dark gray and water falls down, it's rain or sometimes snow. Some clouds are white and puffy. Those are cumulus clouds. Other clouds look thin and feathery. They're called cirrus clouds. Fog is a kind of cloud that's low to the ground. One of the best parts about clouds is it's fun to find shapes in clouds. Hey, that cloud kind of looks like someone I know. Elmo! Elmo. Time for me to blow on out of here. See you later, Elmo. <laughs> Thank you, Smarty. Bye-bye. <laughs> Boy, Elmo never knew that you could see shapes in clouds. <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Sometimes clouds look like things. Let's see if we can find the shapes of all of these animals in the clouds that float by. Are you ready? Let's play. Let's see. That cloud doesn't look like anything. Oh, here comes another one. Does this cloud look like one of the animals? That cloud looks like it has long ears, like the bunny rabbit. Yeah, it does look like a bunny rabbit. Oh, let's look for another animal shape. Ooh, there. Look at that cloud. It looks like the bird. Hey, yeah. That looks like a birdie. Okay, one animal shape left. Oh, look. It's the elephant. You're right. It does look like an elephant. Yay, we did it. Oh, good job, everybody. Boy, that was cool. Snow comes from clouds. Rain comes from clouds. Oh. <laughs> that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, what does Mr. Noodle do when it rains? Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! <laughs> it's Mr. Noodle's poodle, Schmoodle. How do you Schmoodle? <laughs> Schmoodle? That looks like a rain cloud. What does Schmoodle do when it rains? <laughs> he looks like he's at the you don't go to the beach when it rains. What do you do when it rains, Schmoodle? <laughs> Look, he's all ready to play in the snow. That's what you do when it snows. But what does Schmoodle do when it rains? That's more like it. He's wearing a raincoat. That'll keep him dry. Going in his doghouse will keep him dry, too. <laughs> it looks like Schmoodle likes to have a dance party on rainy days. Rainy days can be fun! Thank you, Schmoodle, for that Boy, Learning new things makes Elmo so happy that makes him want to dance! Come on! Happy, happy dance! Well, 
What do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up! Searching the net for butterflies. Here we go. Butterflies start out as caterpillars. The caterpillar builds a chrysalis all around itself. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar goes through a metamorphosis, a big change, and turns into a butterfly. Butterflies are insects with six legs, two antennae, and two pairs of wings. For food, butterflies drink nectar from flowers and juice from some fruits. Oh boy, that was cool, Smarty! Well, I butterfly. <laughs> Get it? Better fly. Right, right, butterfly! butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later, Elmo. <laughs> It's you. <laughs> oh, boy, Elmo wants to learn about all different kinds of habitats. Hey, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, oh Smarty. Smarty. <laughs> Hiya, Elmo. Hi, Smarty. 
Oh, Sesame Street is Smarty's habitat, too. It sure is. I'm almost to learn about all different kinds of habitats. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. up. Searching for habitats. Here we go. A habitat is where an animal finds food, water, and a place to sleep. Some animals' habitats are the forest. Other animals' habitats are underwater. Some habitats are under the ground. And some habitats are above the ground. Wow! Who knew there were so many different kinds of habitats? Time for me to get back to my habitat. Catch you later, Elmo. Bye-bye. Boy, everybody has a habitat. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, Elmo wonders if we can match the animals to their habitats. Are you ready? Let's play. So there are three habitats, a forest, an ocean, and a desert. And there are three animals, a camel, a monkey, and a whale. Which animal belongs in which habitat? How about the camel? Do camels live in trees in the forest? No, camels live on the ground. They live in the desert. That's right. A camel's habitat is in the desert. What about the monkey? Are monkeys habitats in the ocean? No, monkeys don't live in the ocean. That's right. A monkey's habitat isn't the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go to the forest. You got it. A monkey's habitat is the forest. That means the whale's habitat is the ocean. Yay! Looks like they're all happy to be in their own habitats. Hey, you know what? That makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle know about habitats? Hey, let's ask him, okay? Hi, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Noodle. Wow, oh, looks like Mr. Noodle is somewhere really cold. Oh, Mr. Noodle, do you know about habitats? You do? Who lives in a really cold habitat, Mr. Noodle? Yeah. yeah. Who lives there? An elephant. Oh, do elephants live where it's cold? live where it's hot. Try again, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> That's a chicken. Chickens don't live where it's really cold. So don't give up. Show us who has a really cold habitat. Yeah, penguins. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Noodle, That's it. Penguins live in cold habitats. Wow. <laughs> 